According to the Political Part podcast earlier this week, Trump chose J.D. Vance as VP, and we have his tweet and top comments. This is going from his ex-Twitter account. J.D. Vance says, quote, Just overwhelmed with gratitude. What an honor it is to run alongside President Donald J. Trump. He deserved delivered peace and prosperity once, and with your help, he'll do it again. Onward to victory, unquote. Getting 5.1 million views and 240,000 likes. The first comments coming from Planet of Memes saying, Make America Great Again. And it's Trump and JD Vance with the laser eyes. It says, Trump Vance 2024, getting 761 likes, which, I mean, Trump and Biden, like both sides political aisle, keep doing those laser eye things, which, I mean, I thought that would become more and more unpopular with that, was it, the uh, show all the folks are watching these days, the Homelander series, where they had the laser eyes for the bad guy. But again, that's still a thing. Going down more and more. You have Paul Zupa saying it's an honor to have you as have you serve America. Do your best to help President Trump save our country and you'll be succeed. Congratulations, JD Vance, getting 401 likes. A contrary statement, right off the bat, or soon. Admiral Princess Putin Sputin says there's a quote from JD Vance years ago saying President uh, no, Mr. Trump is unfit for our nation's highest office. Getting nine likes. Rather Eagleman saying, quote, congrats, JD, it's go time, getting 376 likes. Chris Pawlowski says, let's go, getting 163 likes. Texas One simply said, hot emoji, getting 22 likes. J.D. Sharp says, your upcoming debate against Kamal Harris will be the largest intellectual mismatch in the history of major network television. Getting 2.5 thousand likes. Which, yes, that will be fascinating to talk. Yeah, she, if Dr. Seuss drank a lot of alcohol and did copious amounts of drugs, she might sound almost as smart as that. Like, she is terrible when it comes to presentations and public speaking and metaphors. Like, I mean, people think my speaking aptitudes are out there. She's even worse. She's saying something. Scrolling down more and more, you have Paul Hookum saying, no more globalist wars. And it's a quote from J.D. Vance saying, if you want your kid to go and fight in some stupid globalist war, vote for Joe Biden. Getting 3,000 likes. Scrolling down more and more. Got another contrarian statement, Dr. Anistia Maria uh, Lupis says, quote, this is a disgusting traitor. And it says, traitor J.D. Vance with a magnifying glass. It says, track uh, APAC. It says, J.D. Vance, Ohio Senator, Republican of Ohio, received $167,324 from the pro-Israel lobby. That got 4.5 thousand likes. Going down more and more, the rabbit hole says, good stance on DEI. I hope you'll continue your unapologetic in attacking woke racism. And it's an old tweet from J.D. Vance saying, DEI is racism, plain and simple. It's time to outlaw it nationwide, starting with our federal government, unquote. They got 2.9 thousand likes. DES says, someone called you a racist care bear. They're right. They 1.1 thousand likes. What? Well. Didn't help, that, didn't help that they had, they of course showed no evidence or content. Scroll down more and more. Joshua Mitchell McMinnick says, let's get it done. Shady Pants is a U.S. Marine and is him in a suit. Getting 382 likes. Trump Army says both will make America great again. Getting 730 likes. Let's see here. Mostly positive. We have Dom saying Trump Vance 2024, getting 303 likes. Chuck Costello says congratulations, Mr. Vice President, getting 709 likes. Let's see here. A lot of people just fishing congrats. So a couple contrarian statements, but let's see here. Overwhelmingly positive support on average. Yeah. And yeah, definitely, I'd say, less bombastic than Trump. There's a lot of people wondering if Trump would ever pick someone like, pick someone like Vivek, because Vivek is you know, very much opinionated and loud. And I mean, that's, that was probably one of the biggest detriments of your know, reasons why people thought he wouldn't pick Vivek, which, again, in terms of being, articulate, being able to articulate a way to actually get things done, I thought Vivek did an exceptional job. I thought he would make a good VP. Unfortunately, didn't make it go up in that decision. Perhaps they'll put him somewhere in his cabinet where he can hopefully dismantle some of the bureaucracy of the government and trim some of the copious amounts of fat in the federal budget. But it'll be interesting to see if how the public reacts to this. Is this going to, there's a lot of people calling on him to make a certain decision based on race demographics or something like that. But 
I think Trump definitely chose the best man for the job. It'll be interesting to see, at the end of the day, does this persuade people to vote for Trump? Again, it's from a moderately, well, pretty historically swing state, so you got some Midwest poll there. But let me know, do you think this is a good VP pick? What are your thoughts, and do you think it'll actually compel more people to vote for Trump in the upcoming election? Let me know in the comments. As always, fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.